What's up, you guys? It's the DOMB Universe. This is going to be another blind reaction to uh, Ruby Volume 4, Chapter 10, Kira Yuri. I, I'm going to just pretend that I got that right on the first try and just continue on with this. Now, uh, last week they had no, like, no episode. But what my, my, my roommate said there was supposed to be a new World of Remnant, but I couldn't find it on our YouTube channel. So if they're on the regular Rooster Teeth site, I'll check it out later. But it, it, it was kind of strange not getting a new episode when, like, Last week, I clearly saw them watching it. I had to, I had to miss it myself because you know the blind reaction thing and waiting to come up on YouTube and all. But yeah, if there's a new world of Remnant, if you can like link it to me or just tell me that it's on the Rooster Teeth channel, I'll see if I can do like a reaction to it and then uh, like get it somehow. But that's pretty, pretty much it. That nothing else really has to be talked to about. When it comes to this channel, though, I'm reacting to a lot of Rooster Teeth related stuff. Red versus Blue, Camp Camp. Might as well just make this channel all about Rooster Teeth related content, huh? No. So, let's get started. Oh, jeez. Three, two, one, now. From what I've been hearing when it comes to this episode, it, besides the fact that when I looked at the thumbnail, I just saw, you know, a, a particular thing that was completely adorable, but hey, whatever. I, I'll, I'll find it. You know, a chibi red. But... It looks like we're just gonna get the backstory about like the, the things I've been wondering about last episode. I think it was last episode. But yeah, I, I've been having a, a good time here, uh, trying to make videos, especially when it comes to like this. I'm trying to do more cam camp and, and red versus blue to finally get those out. As for the CB Universe stuff, for my CB Universe fans, uh, I wanted to wait until they came out uh, officially. Uh, on TV before closing them out. I could have been that guy, you know, just to upload them early, but uh, it's just not in my nature anymore. Especially after what happened with the whole Ruby bit. So, hey. Don't worry, on the 30th of this... Or is it 31st? I think it's the 31st or 30th the, uh, 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 of this month, you'll, you'll see more TV Universe stuff. So, from when I last left off, I remember Crow is in critical condition. They split up from one, a team uh, ranger, or orange, or whatever. <laughs> they split up from one another uh, to find a way around. Ren and Nora didn't want to go because Ren and possibly Nora have this particular problem with going through this particular city. Can't wait to see why. And now we got more of uh, this kid. <laughs> Whenever, whenever a boy becomes 10 years old, he is perfectly fine to go up on his own train monster that can blow up mountains and do anything they want. So this is fine. I'm not worried about him. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, the weirdest part is how it feels. Mm. Ooh, Leaving what? home is crazy. Going to the city is crazy. Everything you've told me is completely crazy. I was about to say, him being inside you, or, you know... It doesn't feel crazy anymore. <laughs> it feels like I'm doing the right thing. Well, I suppose that's good. No. It's scary. Terrifying, even. Like, like imagine, you're just going up in your everyday life, and then suddenly you got someone's spirit or essence inside of you, and they said, now our memories share one another, and now you have to do stuff, because it's now your destiny, duty, privilege, whatever. Stupid thing. Mm. Like, even in the future, nothing works. weird magic this is doesn't come with an infinite supply of money. I'm afraid you'll have to solve this one on your own. Be on your guard. Mm. What do you mean? He just said, be on your guard. Hey, I've got this guy. I haven't seen you in a while. The only name I got <laughs> memorized so far is Turian, so... Okay, if this was Cinema Sins, I think they would question that, how this technologically advanced, whatever the heck, money machine can easily just give you cash if you just hit it. Don't let such a small obstacle block your path. Mm. But hey, still cool. That man. I felt. Who is he? His spiritual Someone pressure was so much past. pressure was sp spiritually Someone pressure should not be taken lightly. And I hope we find out. 
reason why he just let him go. He, he somewhere down the line, unless you know, this, this, this is the plan. Yeesh. Thing just it, it just reminds me of the uh, first time I watched Mulan, and it just we, they went to that one area where it's just all destroyed. I'm like, yeah. Things happen when people are gone, don't they? D -d -d Doesn't it? No. The ambiance is definitely setting in. Any I can tell you. Places much. look like a pharmacy. Yeah. It's honestly hard to tell. Ren There's really a... didn't want to come here. Oh no. Did he? Didn't seem so. This would be PTSD related Do matters. You know why? To a T. If he came here. I think I have a pretty good idea. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Flashback. Always. Oh, we're gonna get to flashback territory. So things are gonna be sad as hell, aren't they? Hmm. Oh god, here it comes. <laughs> oh jeez. I'm prepping myself. Ah, oh, she'd be red. <laughs> Are we trying to catch a fish? I found the flower on the water. Oh my god. Oh, I see. Mm. That voice. Can we take it home and plant it in the garden? Mm. Oh, no, sweetheart. That flower lives here. Mm. Why can't all flowers be my friend? But I'll tell you what you can do. Take this Leon and go find something nice for your father's return. Mm. He's been hunting for quite some time. I bet the journey's been very tiring, don't you? Yes. Do you think you'll know what he wants? I think he wants a water flower in the garden. No, wow. Why did you have she, to inherit my sass? She be Ren. Savage. <clears throat> I don't even know how to use that right. I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't use it then. <laughs> what can I buy with this? Daddy's coming home. <laughs> Let's buy him a weapon. Well, something just your size. <laughs> well, I want to have the dangerous stuff. <laughs> Suck it, please. Come on, man. The underage drinking is definitely bad and it should not be joked about. <laughs> hey, hey, get back here. I'm pretty sure even if you mention your dad, he, 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 he the, the mention of him won't be enough to get it because that's how IDs and people looking at you as young work. I swear if that's who I think it is. It is. No, look, it's all moldy. He's three on my list. He's three on my list. Ah, she bit me. Yeah, she's a biter. <laughs> Douchebags. Where'd she come from? She's dressed all weird. Oh my god. Rabies? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stop reminding me of how people can be huge assholes in the world. Please. Father? What is happening here? You pick on Chibi Nora, you 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 die in seven days. Yeah, run, run as far as you can. It's not gonna help. Do you wish to run with the rest of them? Sometimes the worst action to take. Is taking no action at all. Sometimes not making a decision isn't really a decision. Go home. I need to speak with the mayor. What a great reunion. It's never just like a good, like a solid family in the world, is there? So nothing be something. We should get back to Crow. Wait, throughout this entire time you just had silence and you said nothing. 
Wait, no, you're finding stuff and you found nothing. My bad. I thought this was one of those weird transition things. But that's bad, though. The crow needs help. It's far off. But close enough. I know. In my opinion. Ren and Nora are still out there. I'm sorry. Huh? This is all my fault. Oh my god. I should have never dragged you guys into this. You didn't drag us in. We wanted to come. But you didn't know about Tyrion, about... Ruby. We lost... We lost Pyrrha. You lost her too. And Penny. And <laughs> your team. And, in a way, your sister. <clears throat> You're still here. Despite everything you've lost, and everything you could still lose, you chose to come out here. Because you felt like you could make a difference. You're the bravest of them all. You didn't drag us along. You gave us the courage to follow you. I was gonna say inspired, but that's good too. <laughs> Man. Random parts of the fandom ship it so hard. As for me, I, I couldn't care less. <laughs> I just think it's cute. I love those moments of friendship. Empower, empowering through the sheer might Get of up. fighting spirit. No, right now, okay? Let's here's go. the bad part I was, I was looking forward to. Lee! Oh, what are you doing? We need to hurry. We can go to the safe house. No. I saw the beast. We need a huntsman. Oh, it's a specific and beast. You two need to leave. What? Mother. It's okay, darling. Everything's okay. Oh my god, why is the, what is up with this show and constantly doing this to me? Mmm. I like I saw that angle. I'm like, this kinda reminds me of that time where that one character got killed automatically after finishing his some sentence. Oh wow, shocker. Mother? What? Where's mother? What's going on? Where is mother? Why is it always first the mom to go? It's always the mom to go first. Oh my god. Why? You have to run. No. No, please. Get up! We're gonna see it. There it is. Okay, I got my wish. I, I'm actually starting to regret it. You have to be brave now. Do you understand? No, please. Please, I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, you can! <sighs> Take action, son. <sighs> Your mother and I love you. Father! Okay. I'm gonna go for semblance, but you know, I'm not. 
entirely hey. smart, so. We have to be brave. Wow. Manga painting, I would definitely love that. I'm joking, but I like uh, that. That's a pretty cool power. Oh, yeah, that is a horse type creature of some kind. Where she get that's what she got the idea for the hand. Oh, that's so great. What's your name? Nora. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My name's Nairen. We'll call you Ren for sure. Sure, short, sure, short, sure. short. We never get the easy path, do we? Mm. Easy's no fun anyway. Well, technically, the other path was by far the hardest path you can go to, so in the end, this is actually easy. You? I've got you here, don't I? Come on. <laughs> more than one way up the mountain. Oh. Friendship is so strong with these two, if not bigger than friendship. Hey! There's wind blowing out of this cave! That's <laughs> how she said that. Just made it sound so like Think really it to the peak? <laughs> I suppose there's only one way to find <laughs> ah, convenient yes, map yes. very funny convenient cloth is convenient hey what's wrong this is the symbol for Xion village Xion but that's that's the village where we found the huntsman it's weeks away from here Red? Oh god. <laughs> Wait! Oh my gosh. You get out of one hole just to crawl back into another. I'll try to avoid. Put tension into everything that you just showed. Oh man, that is that's some good that's some good screen telling right there. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man. So all right. We got more of Ozpin and the kid. 
Sorry, I don't remember kid's name very much. It's, it's gonna come Ospin Jr. here, but I know that's kind of like bad considering this kid does have a name. But uh, you know me, bad with names until they said it like a billion times. That's why Tyrion is the only one I know because I said it like a bunch. Uh, but okay, the ending of the episode. It's good to know that he's now off on this little mini adventure of his own here uh, with Ospin's essence inside of him. I have to say that. it's very weird for me to say that. Oh my god, <laughs> the spirit or sorts inside of him. And now he's just on his way. As for what Ruby, as for Ruby and John, Ruby is now starting to blame herself. Like every main character needs to do every once in their in their screen time, they do something and then they blame themselves because they believe all the things that are going wrong are all their fault. When in actuality, it's about the least amount of their fault as this could possibly ever be, if not just like a small smidget of their fault. But that's it. You don't. Have, everyone's at fault in some way, shape, or form in any scenario ever, even when you get hit by a car. It's your fault for not paying attention. It's his fault for hitting you. It's his fault for doing this. It's his fault for doing that. Even if it's completely 100% his fault. Not going off anything in my life. Anyway, uh, going off from that, I, I, really, I really can't really guess how long, like, Crow has left with it. I'm not going poison. I can look up scorpion poisons, but hey, this is a funnest kind of poison dealio scorpion guy. I don't know. That's, like, even more potent than usual. But in the end, the little flashback where, where we get to see Ren and Nora's past together, it's definitely, I knew it was going to get something out of me, and it surely did. And of course, it's the mom that dies first, and it's the dad that dies second. Even I, with, with this trope of uh, killing off the character's parents to have a tragic backstory cliche. Ugh. And just to say this, just because it's a cliche doesn't mean it's not a good thing to use, unless it's a cliche that is completely, you know, like, overly done to death. You could say this is overly done to death, a, a, a main character's parents dying. Wow, never heard of that before. However, how, how they handled it was in, in the realms of uniqueness and also realms of it's the right way to write uh, a tragic backstory of a character, especially how Ren had to go through. And seeing Nora just be this kind of like orphaned child and being picked on by the local bullies of the, of the week. Oh my god, they're on the list. I don't know who they are, but they are... Uh, out of all the people that I probably don't care about throughout the entire raid, probably those three. No, no, I treat all lives equally. Anyway. Uh, Nora and Ren having that backstory together also really explains the bond and connection they had with each other, which is pretty obvious to see from the very first instance of their interaction with one another, especially in Ruby Chibi, where they make it even more apparent, so it's just fun like that. Ren's dad, Lee here, Lee here. First of all, Lee, one of my favorite names in my entire world. Axel is named Lee, except it's spelled differently. I don't know how he spells Lee, but Axel's real name is Lee. My favorite uh, main character in any, like, video game series is named Lee inside the, uh, the Walking Dead's franchise. And Lee is my favorite character in Naruto. And Bruce Lee's there, too. He's my favorite. All these things. Lee's best names from characters. He looks like Hanzo. I mean, he just looks like Hanzo. He looks like Hanzo with, like, a different hair color and stuff like that. But he, he reminds me a lot of Hanzo, especially how he talked. But I don't know if that's racist. <laughs> but uh, the jokes aside, seriously, the family of Ren is good. Really good. Really, really good. And the backstory was then uh, as tragic as tragic can be. Uh, we got this horse-riding Grim, which, frankly, they're going to fight in the next episode, possibly, unless we cut only to Yang and uh, Blake and um, Weiss in the next episode, but yeah, we, we gotta get some context with that. As for, as for Ren, and how, how they, how they show Nora and Ren have the inspirations of their weapons, uh, the blade that he, he was given by his father, uh, represents, like, the gun blade that he has, I, it actually resembles, and Nora, he, he was given the ham, uh, given a, like, little wooden hammer by Ren, and then this is what made her get the giant, it's great, I love it, and seeing Ren, just this hyperactive, overly, like, Pinkie Pie-ish character, being reduced down into this flashback to being an orphan who is scared of almost anything because all everything is going on in her life is just horrible, really shows how differences can go about when, when growing up, especially with tragic things like this happening. Your entire village is being destroyed. You've been picked on all your life, and you've been, a, been an orphan, and you have to scrap for food. And yet... Thanks to the people around you and the things and the choices that you made along the way, you grow up to be a person who looks at the brighter sides of life and only look at the face of danger in the matter of I can beat that and not that it's gonna make life worse for me. I like that's why I like Nora and Ren too. Ren's awesome. 
I love this backstory because now it gets me more into Ren. Because out of all the people in this entire series, Ren has been the most undeveloped person in my eyes. I know he's been developed, and you, you can prove me wrong in that in any way, shape, or form. But throughout all of this, I never really felt that much of a connection to Ren that I had felt with like someone like John, someone like Nori, even, and every other like character. I like how Ren finally is now in that circle of all these characters I can really get behind because I now see more of their plight, which is great. I like the the series is doing doing stuff right that way. As for this horse uh, horse riding Grimm and also seeing uh, Ren's semblance go into action is very good. Um, and I can't wait to see what this thing has to offer. This thing, uh, along with a few flying Grimm, three to four fly, uh, bird Grimm, giant bird Grimm, can conquer like small towns in, in an instant. And uh, that's just that just shows how powerful this thing is, even if they're ill-prepared or anything like that. He knows when to strike. So, cool, nonetheless, this is a great episode. I can't wait until the next one. The next one's probably already out for you Rooster Teeth go-getters, but hey, <laughs> I, I can wait. I've been waiting this long. So, yeah, this is the UMB University. See you guys next time.